Hello, welcome. I'm Jeremiah, and this is the Loch Ness Monster. Wait, what? There's no Loch Ness Monster? How'd you forget the Loch Ness Monster? She's a giant water beast, for crying out loud. You idiot. Okay, so go to plan B. All right, well, instead I'm gonna show you how to crack a s Oh, the other plan B. Okay, we'll be more specific next time, how about that? I don't know what that means, but I don't think I like it. Hey, don't you talk about my mom that way. I got this hammer and I'm not afraid to I'm just gonna, you know what? Well, unfortunately, there's no Loch Ness Monster, but we do have a physics teacher from Hillcrest with an interesting career past and an exciting demonstration for us today. This is Grandma. How'd you possibly forget the Loch Ness Monster? Okay, look. I don't know. There was something about she needed a water uh, bathroom break, water break. Just leave it alone. I mean, she's a giant river monster. Can't she hold it? Whoa. Is that all you see in her? That's very anti-aquatic. What does that even mean? That means you're against water and water-based life forms. I don't... I don't even know what to say to that, but... Well, Either I mean, way. it would explain the smell. What? That's none of my business. But I smell like cocoa butter and, and deliciousness. How do you smell like deliciousness? I don't need to explain myself. Look, man, whatever. Just introduce the guest so we can get on with this. Either way, today we have a science teacher from Hillcrest and a former circus performer. Please welcome Mr. Mirko Poliak. Thank you for being here. Is someone wearing suntan lotion? <laughs> I think that's his deliciousness. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, either way, hello, Mr. Poliak. How are you? I'm good. It's good to be here. It's great to have you here. So you're a physics teacher from Hillcrest, correct? I am. I've been uh, teaching at Hillcrest. This is my ninth year, and uh, I've been teaching just physics. Well, why don't you tell us some, some uh, about your past career experiences? Okay. Um, well, uh, before Hillcrest, I taught at Bloom High School for 10 years. I was a chemistry and physics teacher, and I was also the drama director. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, uh, before that, I worked in a, in a, at an answering service where uh, we answered telephones. Uh, I worked at night so that I could go to college during the day um, and uh, go home and stay with my wife at night. So that's how that worked. Um, did that for a couple of years. Before that, I worked in a factory where we made ink, where we made the, the printing ink that would go in, in newspaper colored ads and so forth. Um, that was an interesting job because all of the rats in the factory were all different colors. Um, before that, I, uh, I served a, a mission for my church for about two years in California. Mm -hmm. And before that, I, I worked in a circus. That's very interesting. Uh, how do you end up in the circus? Uh, well, I certainly didn't plan it, that's for sure. I was, uh, I was uh, the end of my freshman year in college. I, uh, um, I was studying for final exams. It was the spring. And, uh, of course, in those days, cell phones were a lot less common. And, uh, and uh, most of the kids in the, in the dorm had telephones in their, in their rooms, actually plugged into the walls. Um, but I, we didn't even have a phone in my dorm room. We just had, we had, a, had an actual pay phone in the hallway. You, know, you put money in. Um, and uh, it was right outside my door, so every time it rang, um, I would always answer it, and it was never for me. And I'd call somebody else, and they'd, they'd come talk. Well, this time I was busy. I was studying, and I'd been doing it all year long, and I didn't want to answer the phone, so I wasn't going to. And while I was studying, it just right. rang. I can, I can understand that, a young rebel. <laughs> Continue. That was it. I just forget it. I'm not doing it anymore. Um, but it just rang and 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 I couldn't study so I got up and I said what do you want and uh, a woman named Tammy Lutter she said uh, uh, I'm looking for Merkel Poliak I said that's me what can I do for you she says I want to give you a job I want you to come work in a circus she just decided let me go call Mr. Poliak that's, that's, that's sort of how it happened yeah she um, 
She she had a last minute cancellation. One of her uh, one of her employees was from England, and his mother was sick, and mm. he decided to stay in England. Uh, so she needed somebody at the last minute to fill in, and uh, she went through all the people that she knew that had circus experience, and they were all busy or booked or had other commitments, and so she uh, she called her old gymnastics instructor, and said. Who do you, I'm looking for somebody who's got some gymnastics or acrobatic ability who would be uh, uh, honest and reliable, somebody that we can trust, and somebody that's strong enough to swing a sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, my old gymnastics instructor says, well, the only one I can think of would be Mirko Poliak. Why don't you give him a call? So she called my parents, and they gave her the number. And of course, my parents had never called. but. Anyway, so there, there it was, and that's how, I, that's how I got the job. Ten days later, I was on a bus to New York. Wow, that's really interesting. I especially like the part how you can't get a call from mom and dad, but a random instructor, a random lady to yeah. say, come work for the circus. Yeah. It's oh, true. Hey. It's true. Some people talk to their parents all the time and get homesick and stuff when they go to college. I went to college at the end of August, uh, and I didn't talk to my parents again until uh, till the day before Thanksgiving. That's a long time. Yeah. yeah. I called home and said, hey, do you want me to come home for Thanksgiving? My dad said, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's a true story. I said, who's, uh, uh, it's your son. He goes, which one? I said, the one in college. He goes, oh, what do you want? <laughs> I said, well, I want to know if you want me to come home for Thanksgiving. He said, hold on, let me ask your mother. I mean, she, she had the same reaction? No, which she, no, she said, yes, of course, come home. But he's like, all right, fine. Okay, so I, I went home. That's very interesting. But um, uh, we, we'd like to actually see you perform some of these tricks or some things you learned from the circus. Sure. But before that, we have a quick commercial break. And when we get back, uh, you'll show us what you got, right? I'd be happy to. All right, thank you. Okay. In communications, arts, and technologies, we learn about the importance of lighting in the media. Quiet on the set. Amazing scene, take 34. And action. Hello, if you're looking for a movie that will make the hairs on your head stand up with chills, the new sci-fi thriller Dark Skies could do the trick. Carrie Russell and Josh Hamilton star in this spine tingler as wife and husband Daniel and Lucy Barrett, who live through a series of supernatural events within the family. And cut, they cut, cut, cut. That lighting is horrible. We're going to need to reshoot this. Quiet on the set. Amazing scene, take 35. And... If you're looking for a movie that will make the hairs on your head stand with chills, the new sci-fi thriller Dark Skies could do the trick. Carrie Russell and Josh Hamilton star in this spine tingler as wife and husband Daniel and Lucy Barrett, who live through a series of supernatural events within the family and neighborhood. It then becomes apparent that these lethal, horrifying forces are targeting them and will stop at nothing. They can take a uh, pickaxe to the chin, right? I'd be happy to. All right. Thank you. All right. This was, uh, this was one of the first things that I learned in the circus. Of course, when I learned how to do it the first time, it was a sledgehammer. But uh, I didn't happen to have my sledgehammer with me. Oh, wow. So there's that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I could do it too, so. Well, so you're welcome too. Yes. Now, we, we didn't talk about this already, but uh, if, uh, I don't know if our viewers at home, if they want to log on, they can, they can see some more video of, uh, of me on YouTube if, they, if they're interested. Mm -hmm. What would they um, Mr. Poliak. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Poliak Physics, I think, should do it. And then Spelled P O L Y A K. P O L Y A K. So uh, if you want to see. There's some shots of me eating fire, there's some, some other stuff. Now, a question about that. Is it good? Uh, it's, uh, it's a very light. It, kinda, I, uh, it's, it actually it tastes, it tastes a little bit like, you, like you're licking an ashtray. It really does. It tastes awful. That's nasty. It does, but it's worth it. It's worth it because uh, it, it gets the girls excited. It, well, I, I guess. So thank you once again. Uh, unfortunately, you. that's all the time we have for tonight. Uh, that was Mr. Mirko Poliak. From my co-host, Nick, Nick, I'm Jeremiah. This was Grandma, and good night.